When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Absolutely, unequivocally, yes, is the answer. Now, here is the host of The Long Bearded Guy, the Chief Catalyst, Strategist Guide at Jewel International, Gordon D. Melville. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show today. We're going to get right into it today. By the way, uh, Red Vest, it's Red Fridays. I wanted to shout out to Jeff May. Um, but, but before I get into that, you're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. And today we're talking about stop playing safe. Stop playing safe. I'm going to say it once more. Stop playing safe. We're going to talk about that. And, and uh, for the next couple of episodes, this one and next one, um, I, I'm going to ruffle some feathers. And I, I, the one thing that I, I want to put out there is that if you're looking for somebody to polish your trophies, somebody to, to pat you on the back and, and pump you up and, and polish your stuff and tell you how amazing you are, I'm not your guy. And that's not that I'm not going to encourage you and lift you up and, and, and support you. It's that I'm here to rattle your chain. I'm here to shake your cage and go, hey, wake up mediocrity is is killing our dreams it's killing where we're going it's making us play safe and play small and and i i'm the next uh, couple episodes are going to be very very and i'm i'm hope you hear it's coming from my heart i hope you hear that that i'm passionate about it because i really really am and it, it i hear it more and more and more as i'm talking to people i'm talking to clients i'm talking to 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 colleagues that they're, they're playing small and they don't step into their empowerment. So we're going to talk about that today. Um, and, and next week, uh, uh, we got a, a barn burner next week. So, so make sure you tune in next week too. Anyway, Red Fridays, uh, Red, remember everyone deployed. So a uh, big uh, thank you. And, and Jeff had a major, uh, and he's one of my best friends. He's, he's, a, he's a supporter and a, a founding uh, sponsor partner of this show. Um, and I love him. He, he has got a, such a huge heart, massive heart. And, you know, he said, Gord, I want to just support you. And, and it, 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 yeah, I love him. So I want to make a big shout out to him. Um, and as far as Red Fridays, we're re remembering everybody deployed. It doesn't matter where they are. It doesn't matter where they're supposed to be there. It doesn't the, the separate the separate the people and the, and the soldiers from the whatever space they're in because they're being told what to do. They go and do what they're supposed to do. Everybody deployed. We remember them all. Um, those that are never coming back and those that did come back, some of them sort of came back and we need to support them. We need to look after them. They've, they've stood in the, in, the, in the fray for us. We need to be able to, to look after them. So big, big, big shout out for Red Fridays and Jeff May. All right, so stop playing safe uh by the way I, I deeply appreciate people coming in and and saying hi and reaching out and people listening and tuning in my mission as you all know is 10 million men in 24 months a meaningful connection with 10 million men in 24 months and i can't do that without engagement i can't do that without people reaching out and without me reaching out to them so thank you so much for tuning in i know there's people that are not in my chat uh today uh but that are listening i know they are and i know a few of uh, my buddies that listen to this after because they're working in the daytime. They can't get here at, at between 12 and one and that's fine. They listen to it later. I really, really appreciate you all doing that. Uh, and I, I'm praying that you share it. I'm praying that you spread the word. I'm praying that if this impresses you or this makes it not impresses you, but makes an impact on you that you share it, please, please, please share it deeply, deeply, deeply share it. Um, it, it I, I have to get the message out. And so um, I, I want to do that as much as I can. I need your help to, to get that done. So if you can do that for me, I really appreciate it. As we get going here, playing safe or small leads to self-sabotage. And, and before I just, one last thing, uh, please like, love, share, subscribe. It's a free subscription to Inspire Choices Network. Find us on Apple TV, Google TV, uh, iHeartRadio, all the different places at Spotify, all the different places you'd listen to, to stuff. You can find us all over the place. And not just me, but all the hosts on Inspired Choices Network. They're amazing. They're incredible. There's amazing content. Um, find us all there. And, and we really, really, really appreciate that. Um, it helps the show. It helps us expand. So please do that for me. Like, love, share, and subscribe. 
hit the bell. I think that's what they say, so that you don't miss any of the uh, any of the updates. So, all right. So, playing small uh, or, or playing safe or small leads to self sabotage. So, the best day of our life is the one where we decide your life is your own. The best day of our life is the one in which we decide that our life is our own. No apologies, no excuses, no one to rely on or blame. The gift is ours. It's an amazing journey and you're alone. You are alone or responsible for the quality of it. That's Bob Moward. Um, Bob Moward. It, it's, it's, it has to be that we step into one of the biggest things that stopped me from, from being uh, achieving and getting to where I wanted quicker was my inability to step into that, to step into my empowerment. I was playing small. My dream wasn't big enough. I didn't see, and, and there's reasons why, and they're, they're universal. Um, it, it shows up in, our, in different ways in our, in, our, in our lives, but for each of us, maybe it's a little bit different, but the, the core of it all comes back to the same thing. And you, you've heard me say this over and over and over. It comes, some of it comes back to our, what our worth and our value is, who we believe we are or, not, or who we don't believe we are. We've got all these skills and all these, these qualities and these genius and these superpowers that we don't use. Why? Why are we playing small? Why are we not stepping into? Why do we not see our value and our worth the way we should? How come? There's some big, big, very deep. And that's why I say, I'm, I, I, I want to rattle to your chain. I want to, we're all sitting, a lot of times we sit in a cage, and I shouldn't say a lot of us. We sit in a cage of our own making with the door open and the key in our hand. We say that again. We're sitting in a cage of our own making with the door open and the key in our hand. What does that mean? You're sitting there going, Gord, what are you talking about? What, what does that mean? What it means is we made the cage. Nobody made the cage. Nobody put us in the cage. We made that cage. And we sit in there by choice. Let that hang in the air for a second. Choice. We're choosing to sit in that cage. We could be choosing to play big and step out of that cage. The door's not even locked. We have the key, but the door's not even locked. It's not even closed. But we're too scared to step out. We see all the big, scary obstacles around. That's what we see when we take our eyes off the prize. We start to see the obstacles. We listen to the opinions of others. Which is BS, by the way. Their opinion doesn't matter. Stop listening to the people that, and they do it from a place of love. A lot of these people are people that we, they're relatives, they're friends, they're people maybe we're sleeping next to that are holding this down, that are telling us, pouring into our brain, you're not, who do you think you are? To have 10 million men, who, who, the, who do you think you are? We think about the people, the, the, the celebrities that have 10 million followers on, on social media. There are, there are some that do, there's lots that do, but they don't all have, some of the most iconic ones don't. Why is that? It's not because they don't have great work. It's not because they're not amazing at what they do. There's a bunch of reasons. What I'm saying is, can I have, and, and, and I'm saying to you, and I believe I do. Excuse me, Papa keeps telling me that, that 10 million is not the target. 10 million is the jump point. We'll start to count once we get to 10 million. And I'm like, what? What? How is that possible? And then I talked to, to, to the, the owners, the owner at, at Inspired Choices Network, and we find out, well, based on the 450 platforms we're on, we probably have more than a 400 million reach. 
And it's probably twice that. All of a sudden, 10 million doesn't seem like such a big number anymore. But I have to believe that. I have to know in my heart, you know what? This is the mission I've been given. This is my purpose. This is the, the reason I'm here. Is to get this message of hope out. So I have to step out of that cage. And what I want to do today is, and next week, and, and, and that's why I'm here. I'm here and my purpose is to rattle your cage. It's to shake your chain. It's to go, look, stop playing small. You have it in you. We all do. Papa says we have infinite value for no other reason than we are, period. Not because of what we think or do or who we know. It doesn't matter. You, we have infinite value because we are. Stop messing around with the small stuff. Eagles are the only bird that fly at that altitude. No other bird can fly at an altitude like an eagle. So if an eagle finds himself surrounded by pigeons, he's in the wrong freaking place. He can't look around. He can't look around and go, why is my life? I'm not, why am I not at the right altitude? Why am I not? Oh, I'm surrounded by pit. What the heck? You wonder why you're not moving forward. Why you're the ability to get big and play big is being stifled. Why? Because you're hanging out with the pigeons. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with pigeons. And if you're okay with being on that level, great. But if you want more, you have to get away from the pigeons. You have to go to the altitude where the eagles hang. Lions do not listen to the hyenas. Lions do not care what the, what the hyenas say about them. They do their own thing. I heard it said this week, sorry, out of breath. <laughs> I, I hope you're feeling the passion because you know what? I am all just all in on this. I'm all in. People like to party. Kings celebrate. We want to celebrate. We want to live in that space. But that means we have to think like a lion. We have to think like an eagle. We can't sit back and play small or play safe. Playing safe is actually counterintuitive to what happens. Playing safe is way more dangerous than taking the risk and playing big. Playing small gives a small reward. Pay isn't good. Financial rewards on small is not good. But playing small is not getting us where we want to go. Small play, small reward. Big play, big reward. And it only takes one. Abraham Lincoln, everybody goes, the best president ever. Guess what? He, he tried. He, he failed. He didn't get elected like eight or ten times he failed. He was divorced a couple of times. Like He was bankrupt. The guy, but nobody remembers that. What do they remember? Freeing the slaves and being one of the best presidents there ever was. That one achievement, that one playing big, boom, everything else goes away. We need to do the same thing. We need to take a quick break, pay some bills here. I want to do some two quick shout outs to two of my two of my uh, founding pa partner sponsors. The first one is my brother, Jose Escobar, is the founder and CEO of Entrepreneur's Bookshelf. He's on his way to uh, Vegas next week to hang with uh, Grant Cardone at the 10X Summit. If you don't have your ticket, there may still be some available. I know they opened up a new block, uh, but but leaders, eagles, lions, Hang with other eagles and lions. Guess who's going to be at the 10X Summit? With Grant Cardone and a whole bunch of eagles and lions is my, my good brother, Jose Escobar. Check out the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf to learn more about the morning and evening routine mastery program that's changing people's lives. And if you're not doing a morning and evening routine, some kind of routine, you're missing out. You're not, you're not playing full out. You're playing safe. Get out, of safe. get out of safe. This program will help you install systems on the bookends of your day to maximize your morning and evening routine. Set up your free strategy session with Jose Escobar today, and you can find him at 
which I have kind of redundant to say that. But anyway, <laughs> theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. The other one is Kat Schwartz. And my sponsor, Kat Schwartz, incredible human being. I love her to death. Uh, Kat Schwartz is the founder and CEO of a groundbreaking company called Compassionate Healing Services and offers a completely unique approach to treating physical and mental health challenges. Not that there's any of that in the world today. And if you can't see me, you're listening. My eyes are big at the moment. And like, no. Oh. Um, Check her out on Instagram at Compassionate Healing Services or email her at info at Compassionate Healing Services.com. I thank you so much to my founding sponsor partners, uh, and especially today to Jose and Kat. And, and uh, if you haven't found them yet, please, please, please go find them, support them. They're supporting me. They're supporting the show. They're getting the message out. So you know what? Please, please uh, um, reach out to them and, and find out. It, it doesn't hurt. To, it doesn't cost anything to find out what the deal is and what they're about and how they can help. And I will assure you they can. Let's take a quick, uh, quick break. Don't forget to pause and breathe. I'm going to try and do the same. Catch my breath, pause and breathe. Pause and breathe. Why? It's grounding us. It's letting that percolate. The information in that first segment, letting it percolate. Letting it percolate. Sit with it. Pause and breathe. And I'll see you on the other side. You're with the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, on Inspired Choices Network. We'll be right back. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, the Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the Long Bearded Guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Thank you. Welcome back. Here we go. Self-sabotage. So this is one of the reasons why playing safe leads to self-sabotage. Self-sabotage is when our behaviors or actions create problems in our lives and interfere with our intentions and goals. It means getting in our own way. And it happens when our brains unconsciously hold on to fear, loss, failure, and rejection. Say it again. Sabotage is when our behaviors or actions create problems in our lives and interfere with our intentions and goals. It means getting in our own way, and it happens when our brains unconsciously hold on to fear, loss, failure, and rejection. When our brains unconsciously hold on to fear, loss, failure, and rejection. Stop holding on to those things. <laughs> so fear. Of what is fear of what? There's uh, what, uh, four, four or five fears? Fear of not being good enough to acquire the things we want. I feel that way all the time, right? Not being good enough to acquire the things we want. Again, you heard me say it before. Who the hell do you think you are? Something in the back of our brain, a paradigm's like, whoa, what are you thinking? A fear that we are inherently unworthy of love, success, and abundance. 
inherently unworthy. Well, we'll say it again. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have infinite, infinite value for no other reason than we are. If we really, truly believe that, would we be able to have the love, success, and abundance and acquire all the things that we want? Yes. Yes, we would. We are stopping. Our limiting beliefs is stopping us from having what we want. Why? Because we're playing safe. We're playing small. Fear of being exposed as a fraud despite our accomplishments. You want a really, really, really good exercise? Sit down and write down as much as you can, as far back as you can remember, everything you've done that you think is an accomplishment. Everything. Everything that you've been told is an accomplishment. And what do I mean by that? If you are uh, um, graduating elementary school, graduating uh, high school, graduating college, having a degree, getting married, having children, having a career, there are all these things are accomplishments. Write them all down. What have you accomplished? And then when your brain, something in your brain goes, hey, who the hell do you think you are? You go, this is who I am. If you need to review it, you review it. Why? Because that puts you back in the space and goes, look, yes, this is who I am. If you know who you are and what your worth and your value is, the rest of the stuff is easy. The rest of the stuff is easy. Fear of being exposed as a fraud. Who the hell gives a crap what anybody else thinks? Their opinion doesn't matter. Your journey, our journey, my journey. It's not for anybody else but us. My journey's for me. Your journey's for you. Nobody, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. You don't need their opinion. Fear of vulnerability, pain, and discomfort. All of those things, vulnerability, pain, and discomfort. I've had chronic pain for pushing five years. Always, always, always. It's always, always there. Never goes away. I wake up with it. I go to sleep with it. It's always there. But it won't last forever. I pray it doesn't last forever. Discomfort doesn't last forever. Pain typically is temporary. Vulnerability. We're so afraid of people looking at us a certain way. Well, they're going to judge me. Back to the whole stigma BS. Stigma, stop using the word. Stop using the word. Anywhere you want to put the word stigma in, use the word judgment. It's more honest and it's way more accurate. Stop being judgmental. Stop looking at people that way. They're vulnerable with you. You know what? I want to put this out there. If they're being vulnerable with you, congratulations. You've created a space that they feel safe in that they can be vulnerable. Way to go. Congrats. Seriously. That's a compliment to you. If they're being vulnerable with you, you've created a space and, and vice versa. If you're, if you are a feel safe in a place that you can be vulnerable, hang on to that, embrace that. The only people that are going to push back on you, if you're vulnerable are the ignorant curs. And I say that with all amounts of love, because there's a lot of people in this world that are just, they, 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 they don't like their life. They don't want to change. They don't have the courage to step up and do what you're doing. And, and I say that to my community because I, I think people that are following me, people that are listening to me, people that are in my space and in my sphere are people that are thinking the way I do. And, and it's not that I, I don't want to surround myself with like-minded people. And I want to make this very clear. I'm not looking for like-minded people. What I'm looking for is growth-minded people. We all have different paths. Growth-minded is a specific mindset. It doesn't have fear or it uses and harnesses fear to be able to push themselves forward, to be able to make forward advance. No matter how it manifests, self-sabotages fear of trying our best and not succeeding, of being disappointed, humiliated, or having our worst fears about ourselves confirmed by the outside world. No matter how it manifests, self-sabotage is fear of trying our best and not succeeding. So what? So what? Not succeeding, being disappointed, humiliated, or having our worst fears about ourselves confirmed by the outside world. They don't, you don't need their confirmation of who you are. 
you do not need their validation. So stop putting it out there that way. The only way, and we're going to talk about this more next week, but the only way to truly fail, really, really fail, is to stop trying. As long as you are still in the game, you're still trying. You're still putting the effort out. You're still moving forward. Rome wasn't built in a day, but it was built brick by brick by brick daily. As long as you stick in the game, you need to pause for a second, take a breath, wipe the sweat and blood off you, knock yourself out. But never stop trying. Fear is such a huge, 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 very, very uh, insidious thing. Partly because it's not real. It's a manifested construct in our brain. And partly because we let it prevent us from doing the things we were supposed to do, we were meant to do. It's preventing us from playing big. Excuse me. It's stopping us from playing big. It's keeping us playing small. And it's convinced us, and why I say it's insidious is because it's convinced us that that's all we can do. <laughs> Bullshit. Um, we can do it. I say all the time in capital letters, yes, we can. Why? Papa will not give us a mission without the tools to get it done. And we might not see how right at the moment. The fourth sentence I gave to my sons, I don't have to know how. I have, all I have to do, my responsibility is to ask, believe, and receive. But I have to do all three. I choose to do all three. I'm going to ask with gratitude. Then I have to believe it's possible that it is coming to me. Because if I don't believe, and I think that's where it gets hooked, people go, well, wait, 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 wait. That, that's not possible for me. I don't really believe. I'll ask, but I don't really believe. Well, you're, 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 self, you're sabotaging. You're self-sabotaging what's supposed to be happening to you. You're sabotaging Papa's abundance of good things he wants to give you because of your limiting beliefs. Stop it. Stop. You're an amazing human being. You're amazing. You're an incredible human being. How do I know that? Because Papa says we all are. We all have, he says, and nobody else's opinion really matters. His opinion of us is that we have infinite value because we are. Hold on to that believe that step into that hold on to that promise and then step into your own playing big get out of your cage step out of it if the door if you think the door is closed you got the key in your hand open the door unlock it step out be who you were meant to be you've got the tools The how will come. Step out and do it. We need to take another quick break. Time goes so quick. <laughs> um, we're going to take a, another quick break. But again, uh, my uh, two of my founding sponsor partners I want to I want to highlight today. Again, are Cat Schwarz, Schwarz, C H S C H W A R Z or Z in Canada. No T. Not Schwartz, Schwarz, Kat Schwarz. If you email her at info at compassionatehealingservices.com and mention the long bearded guy, you'll receive 20% off one of her services. That's $100 savings off Kat's most unique offering, which is spiritual private investi uh, investigation services. Kat will use her skills as an evidential medium to reconnect you with a loved one who crossed over and provide proof of their continued presence in your life. Email her at info at compassionatehealingservices.com. She's amazing. Reach out to her. She can help with both mental health challenges and treating physical challenges as well. Um, shocking uh, how that manifests in our bodies. Reach out to her. The other uh, one is my, is my brother, Jose Escobar. Check out the Connected Leaders Academy membership to take your business to the next level. This is the perfect tribe to learn, grow, and connect like never before. The, uh, the, the Connected Leaders Academy tribe brings together some of the highest level entrepreneurs from all over the world. Set up a virtual coffee with Jose Escobar today. And again, you can reach him at the entrepreneursbookshelf.com to set that up. 
there's a, um, a, C a CLA, a Connected Leaders Academy Summit coming in October. There'll be more than a thousand people at this incredible, incredible high level event. Uh, if you want more information, reach out to me, reach out to him. He can, he can, tickets are on sale and the price just keeps going up for that. So we want to reach out to him as soon as you can. I am very, very, very thankful for my founding sponsor partners. I'm looking for some more people to join. Uh, but I'll talk about that in a bit. We need to take a quick break. Don't forget to pause and breathe. And I will see you on the other side of this commercial break. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, the chief catalyst strategist guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life, no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows, along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Thank you for sticking with. Uh, we're going to talk this, this segment, and I hope you're we're talking about stop playing safe. Stop playing small. We were not meant to play small. We were meant to play big. We were meant to do big, massive, huge things. We were given the tools to do that. We were given the heart to do that. We were given the creativity to do that. Lots of times we abdicate that. Oh, it is what it is. I can't change it. BS. That's not true. Yes, you can change it. He, Papa wants us to change it. Wants us to do that. So, so how do we repair? What do we do to get out of stop playing small? I want to give you three, three quick things. Simple stuff. It doesn't have to be complicated. Sometimes as humans, we want to complicate the crap out of everything. It doesn't have to be complicated. It, it's simple. It's not always easy, but it's simple. Uh, I, I want you to hear that. It's not hard. Pardon me. It's simple. The process is simple. The things to do are simple. Sometimes it's not easy. The first one is make time to reflect. To, to, to stop playing safe, or stop playing small, we need to do some introspection. Do I have my vision for my life? Again, you've heard these things from me before. Do, you, do I have my vision for my life? Do I have my definite major purpose? Are they locked in and written down and crystal clear? Do I have that stuff? Once I have those two coming up with my, my goals are the easy part because those goals are just going to help me get to my definite major purpose. But I have to be able to do some introspection. Where am I at? And be honest with myself. Not, not, I want to be able to be honest in the sense that I want to be able to state this is what it is. I do not want to overstate what is. I don't want to make it worse than it is. I don't want to make it in my brain seem worse than it is. We always overinflate this bad stuff and deflate the good stuff. We poo poo the good stuff. Oh, yeah, no, it's nothing. It's nothing. And the bad stuff, we make mountains out of molehills and there's a great big massive thing that, that we, we got to stop doing that to ourselves. 
So by the way, if you're not journaling all this stuff, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm praying you are. We want to remember. We, we're not going to remember. Our, our, our brains, there's so much going in. If you listen to this the first time, even if you take good notes, you'll get less than 10% of what I said. Not because you're stupid and not because you're not bright and not because it, it, it's, and I'm the same way. I get less than 10%. Why? Because you can only retain so much at a time. So you write it down. Why? That way you can review it and look back at it and go, hey, or oh, that's right. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Usually you have to hear something 10 times to get it all. Because if you're getting less than 10%, then you need to hear it 10 times to get the 100%. And you'll never get it all because you keep changing. You keep growing. If you let any of this affect you, and I pray that, God, you are letting this affect you, letting this impact you in a positive way. It doesn't matter if you hear it and know it. The knowledge isn't the power. Applied knowledge is power. Using the information, that's where the power is. But that becomes very difficult if you can't remember. So write it down. Journal it. Make time to reflect. Number two, remember your purpose. What's your definite major purpose? You have to know what it is. You have to know. How do you, how do you, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to go to LA. If I was going to 10 X, I'm going to Vegas. But if I get in the car and I have no idea how to get there, what are the, if I just head out in, in, in a general direction, am I going to get there? The chance of that is very, very, very low. Why? Because I don't have any idea where I'm going. I have to have a purpose. I have to have, why am I doing my why? I've heard of that a bunch this week. My why needs to be something that's massive, scares the ever loving crap out of me, excites me at the same time, because that's what's going to motivate me to get out of bed. That's what's going to motivate me inspire me when it's happening to go you know what i know i'm working hard and i know i'm sacrificing and i know i'm putting it out there and i know there's lots of things going on i know there's lots of obstacles but you know what screw it i am going to get to where i need to go why because the must i have to get there your purpose is not a eh, if i get there it's great if i don't get there that's all good that, that's that's not that's your purpose we have things that we wish that we would like to have that, that's not a definite major purpose. That's not a vision. That's just a, you know what, it's a dream. If, if, if you've never written any of that stuff down, your vision, your definite major purpose, your goal, if you haven't written that stuff down, don't, don't stop coddling yourself. You're fooling yourself. Those are not vision, definite major purpose and goals. That's a, that's a wish list. Until you write it down and it's concrete and you put a date to it and you tell people and you commit to it, that's a vision. That's a definite major purpose. And those are goals. Why? Because you've committed to it. You've set yourself in and gone, this is, it's a must. I have to get there. That only works if you know what your purpose is. Make time to reflect, remember your purpose and embrace the challenge. Is it going to be hard? Yes. That's why most people don't do it. It's too freaking hard. It's too hard. And so they, 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 the littlest thing, someone says, oh, hey, what are you doing now? You're, who do you think you are? And they go, oh, uh, sorry. That's crap. We let people that have not accomplished anything bump us off or deter us from our, from, why? Who the hell are they? To have, they can have an opinion. We're humans, we have an opinion, but keep it to your freaking self. You're not being helpful by giving that. You're peeing in their brain. We do it all the time. People have, they don't share your huge, huge, massive BHAG is what uh, Darren Hardy calls it. BHAG goals, big, hairy, audacious goals, massive. Don't share that kind of dream with a small mind because they can't conceive that. They're going to push back and, and, and pee in your brain. Why? Because they're going to, they're, they can't conceive that for themselves. So they don't want that for you. They're going to say to you, they're going to show you all the, all the reasons, all the challenges, all the scary things. What if people say this? What if you fail? Who gives a shit? I'm going to go forward anyway. It's where I'm supposed to be. And if it's really a must and your why is where it belongs, then you know what? It will not matter. 
Sometimes the obstacles are there to test your resolve to make sure that this is really what you want. Sometimes. Sometimes they're there because it's in the process. People say, well, it's about the process. It's not about the destination. I, yeah, I understand the point. But if I get on a plane and go to Cuba or I go, go to some warm tropical place for a vacation, the destination is absolutely, it's, it's critical to the, to the trip. It's, it's just as important as the journey. The journey is there and to their point, the journey is there for who I become in the process of achieving the goal in achieving the definite major purpose. Who did I become? Who did the process make me? Who did the process make me? Again, I have to go back to the whole pop, pop piece about being, a, I have to be willing to sacrifice who I am today so that I can become who I'm supposed to be tomorrow. I can't steal second base with my foot still on first. We've all heard all these things before. Ships look beautiful in the harbor, but that, and that's safe, safe in the harbor most of the time. But that's not what a ship was built for. I watched an incredible movie last night. And I forget what it's called. I think it's called True Spirit about the youngest girl. She's 16. A true story, Australian. And, and she, she went around the world. Everybody said, no, you can't do that. You're 16. Her parents were like, oh, but we believe in you. And she almost died. It's an incredible story. It's on Netflix right now. Find it. Incredible, incredible, incredible. But nobody deterred her from a little girl. She was like, I am going to sail around the world. I'm going to be the youngest person ever to sail solo around the world. And damn if she didn't do it. In the face of everybody laughing at her, in the face of everybody saying you couldn't do it and all the challenges that were, they're gonna, you're going to meet 70 foot waves. It's going to crush you. And she went, I'm going to do it anyway, because the payout is worth it. And I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. What I'm telling you is it's worth it. In, in the next piece, I wanna, I'm going to read a couple of uh, a quote. I came across quote after quote after quote after quote after quote about this stuff. And I, I can't read them all. There's hundreds of them there. But I, but I want to make sure we're, we're, you have to understand where we're at. You have to understand where you're at. Stop playing average. Stop playing small. Stop being mediocre. Stop accepting that in your life. That's the way it is. No, it doesn't have to be. Come on. I want this to be a, a, a verbal slap to some degree. I want you to know, hey, wake up. Wake up. Make time to reflect, remember your purpose, and embrace the challenge are ways to stop playing small. Stop playing safe. Show up for yourself. Understand what your worth and your value is, and it's infinite. It's infinite. I have to take another quick break. Uh, the time just goes so fast, so fast. I, I, the shout out for, for this segment and, and, and for this break is for myself. If, you, if this resonates with you, if this message resonates with you, if you're, I, I, I do a high performance uh, coaching practice, mentoring programs, one-on-one uh, -on -one group coaching, whatnot, I, I, I do keynote speaking. If you want me to come and speak to your group, reach out, um, uh, thelongbeardedguy at gmail.com. If you want, I've got books, uh, uh, I've got programs i've got some good stuff coming in the next little bit that uh is going to that that you can plug into so if, if you want to um reach out you need coaching you need mentorship you you want to understand how to stop playing safe reach out and ask gordon how do i do that long bearded guy can you help me stop playing small because it's mindset it's up here it's in here it's in our heart it's in our mind. Everything starts in our mind. And then it comes back to choice. People go, oh, it's so expensive. It's so expensive. Really? It's expensive to educate yourself. Try ignorance and non-understanding is way, way more expensive because it's costing you not just money. It's costing you your life. 
It's costing you being abundant in your life. Stop. Reach out. And if this message resonates with you and you want to help me get this message out to, the, to be a part of the 10 million men, reach out to me. There's sponsorship available uh, for uh, multiple different levels. Uh, would love to be able to plug you in. Please, please, please reach out. I need help. We need, I need assistance. I need, I need more uh, partners, uh, sponsor partners to be able to push this to an even bigger level. Please, please reach out to me. The long bearded guy at gmail.com. And I'll explain what's there. And there's lots of amazing things in there. Be part of the, the, the movement to get this positive message out, to help more people, to help men, to help everybody. And, and this goes out to women too. You all have, you know, significant others and husbands and sons and brothers and, and fathers and men around you that, that need to hear this message. Where people, men are offing themselves on suicide because they don't want the judgment and, the, and they don't want the, that, co that comes with trying to deal with their mental awareness. They need help. I teach tools and strategies to them so they can just deal with it's not outside the box thinking it's eradicate the box burn the box there's no box just deal with the emotions we all feel every day hit them head on and then move on don't push them down don't put them in a box on a shelf and still feel the pain from that so now we do uh, drugs and gambling and porn and and whatever it is i now i have a vice on top of the problem because it didn't take the problem away so i teach them hey here some I, they I've been referred to as the king of EQ, emotional quotient. People don't care how much you know till they know how much you care. Emotional quotient is huge, but it feeds into this. As we go to a quick break, sorry, uh, 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 my producer, I, I I'm sorry, uh, I get I get on my soapbox. Please stick with me. the The last segment is going to be amazing. I got some things to share, and and we'll talk about the next the next uh, next week's show, which um, I think even the title of it is going to to set a, a tone for next week. So don't forget to pause and breathe. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. Stay with me. We'll be right back. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life, no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is The Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also send an email to TheLongBeardedGuy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I want to do these quick because I don't want to, I don't want to miss out. If you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan. And guess what they have planned for you? Not much. That's Jim Rohn. A person often meets his destiny or her destiny on the road that they took to avoid it. <laughs> A person often meets their destiny on the road they took to avoid it. That's Fontaine. There is only one corner of the universe you can be certain of improving, and that's your very own self. Mr. Huxley said that. That's the best day of your life. We talked about that. The man who views the world at 50, the same as he did at 20, has wasted 30 years of his life. I'm going to say that one again. The person, I'm going to say the person, because not just men. The person who views the world the same at age 50, the same as they did at 20 has wasted 30 years of their life. That powerful, powerful, powerful. Uh, anonymous. If you don't get lost, there's a chance you may never be found. How does that happen? You have to step out. You have to be bold. You have to come out of your cage. 
that's scary. Do it anyway. Have the courage to show up for you. We, we go and we do these interviews to get jobs at other places. You want them to bet on you. You bet on you. Holy crap, come on. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. I've said that for a long time. If you resist reading and listening to what you disagree with, how will you ever acquire deeper insights into what you believe? That requires introspection, which we talked about today. The things most worth reading are precisely those that challenge our convictions. Thank you, Anonymous. That's exactly what I said off the top. I'm here to challenge you. I'm, I'm not here to polish your trophies. I'm here to challenge you. I want to rattle you a little bit. I want to challenge, why do you believe what you believe? Even about yourself. Because what I'm telling you is what you believe about yourself is stopping you from having your abundance and getting the goals that you want and achieving the vision and the definite major purpose. It's stopping you, your limiting belief. The first sentence I gave to my sons, you're the biggest problem you will ever have and you are the solution. Let that resonate, write it down. I am the Biggest problem I will ever have, and I'm the solution. Why? Because I choose to be where I am. No matter where that is, I'm choosing to be where I am. Choose better. If you don't like it, Jim Rohn said, you're not a tree. If you don't like where you are, move. That's the, actually the hilarious. That's what it says right here. If you don't like where you are, move. You're not a tree, Jim Rohn. There's so many of these. There's so many. Courage does not always roar. Sometimes courage is that small voice at the end of the day saying, I'll try again tomorrow. You only truly fail if you stop trying. So I'm challenging you, keep trying. Keep trying. The call to action today, reflect, remember, and embrace. Why? Because that's what it's going to take, self-inflection. Stop playing safe. Stop playing small. We were not designed for that. But we have to get out. We have to stop our limiting belief and step into who we are. Really, truly believe who we are, what our worth and our value is to the world. The, the, the finances will come. Finances will, are, the, are the byproduct of providing service and value to the economy. We're all doing that every day. We need to do it more. Reflect, remember, and embrace. Stop playing safe. Stop playing small. Give yourself the gift of being courageous and stepping into who you really truly are. Next week, the title of next week, Friday the 10th at noon. No, that's not going to be, that's Friday, this, today's the 10th. Uh, Friday the 17th will be under covenant with yourself for intentional lifetime personal development. Under covenant with yourself for intentional lifetime personal development. Again, I'm going to rattle your chain. And there's going to be some people that are pissed off. I don't care. I'm not here to tickle your ear. I'm here to help you improve and grow so that you don't waste 30 years being the same person you were 30 years ago. Intentional growth, putting yourself into that space. Show up, bring a friend, bring your journal. We're going to, we're going to, I, I, and I hope you respond to me. I hope I get emails from people that go, hey, I, I, I need to understand this more. I don't agree. Bring that, bring it. I'm all over it. Challenge what it is. I relish that. I relish that because it means you're engaged. It means you're plugged in. It means you're trying. It means you're still here. Put your hand over your, over your heart like this. Do you feel that? Bum, 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 bum. It means you're still alive. It means there's still choice to make. I'm challenging you. Please, please, please reach out for yourself. Be intentional about your growth. Make it another great week, everybody. I love you. Massive, massive hugs. Live abundantly and with intention by choice. And we'll see you next week. I love you. I hope you're hearing my heart. Thank you. Thank you for tuning into the Long Bearded Guy Show. You are appreciated and loved. Gordon D. Melville returns Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on the InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, make it another great week leading with love, 
powerfully designing, crafting, and living out your positively impactful legacy life you were created for. Big hugs.